No, no, I need to say, Lord. Hey buzzers, welcome back to Inside Buzz, your go-to for all the juicy updates in the world of South African entertainment and celebrity drama. You already know we keep it real and messy, so grab your popcorn because today's topic is about two legendary DJs making headlines, DJ Cleo and DJ Maporosa. Let's dive into the latest saga that has everyone talking. It looks like veteran DJ Cleo has come out to beg DJ Maporosa on that hot topic that's been causing some serious drama, owning masters of songs produced in Pori's house. Now, if you've been following this saga, you know Pori has been catching heat from other musicians, accusing him of exploitation. But Pori's defense, he says those tracks were made in his home with his equipment and on his dime. When you record music in my computer, in my studio, in my electricity that belongs to me you must understand that one no no i need to say love i'm not going to do this i'm not going to make it i'm not electricity here the computer here regular game so when i own them and also to own it as a as a as a tank as a so you must understand when you work on somebody's studio that shit is not yours then we release it. So who's really on the wrong here? On the latest episode of Podcast and Chill, Cleo didn't drop Pori's name, but he spilled some real tea. He made it clear that if a song is produced under someone's roof, they own the masters. Basically, Cleo is saying if your parents provide the space, the food and the tools, they're the ones in control of that work. This is simple. If he wants part of the master, then he has to pay something. In Soweto. Currency, currency, you know, he has yeah, to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, here's how it, someone here's how it something works. to make the he song happen. Who pays for the recording owns the master. Means so, of production. And something I wanted to say, actually, a lot of parents, and they don't know this, Emma, a lot of parents own masters to songs, but they don't know. Oh, shit. You're right. A lot of my parents. My mom bought my first computer and I wanted to make musical that I told she, her. Your mom owns all those masters oh. because it was under her roof, her rent. She fed you. She and there was bought the, the, kuku, she, she chicken, she nyam, bought my, the studio equipment. Yeah, she bought the, the computer, the MIDI controller, the speakers. If, she, if, if we had Wi-Fi, she's paying for the Wi-Fi. So that I'm downloading a the lot plugins of, on. I repeat, a lot of parents out there if in Zenu operating from home and hits are coming out of those home studios and songs, the parents own the masters to those songs. <laughs> Don't say I didn't put you on. Don't say I didn't put you on, Bazali. So maybe Pori has a point. After all, of course, this sparked a mixed bag of reactions online. Some people were quick to jump on the apology train for Pori with one trip saying, it's time to apologize to Lord Pori, put respect on that man, but not everyone's convinced. Another user clapped back explaining that owning the means of production doesn't automatically mean that you own the masters and that agreements play a huge role too. So what do you guys think? Is DJ Cleo speaking facts or are people taking Pori's side a little too quickly? Drop your thoughts in the comments below because we need to hear from you. As always, make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single buzz. And don't don't forget, stay buzzing.